Let me guess, you clicked on this video because your site's stuck looking like this and you don't know how to make it look a little bit fancier. Like... Like this. In today's video I'll show you how to get a custom site on your tank and even how to edit that site to make it a little bit more visible. The very first thing you are going to be doing is going onto Google. And then you're going to search in Gaijin Live. It will come up with War Thunder Live here. And this is the screen you will see. Deny the cookies, because who are you if you don't? You can see all of these options here, and we're going to go under Sites. This is the, this method works the same for camouflages. And I don't know about missions, I've never tried them. Now you'll see all of the brain rot going on, but you'll also see there's some actual sites here. Now, you can do this for any tank in the game, I've done it for m multiple tanks, but today I'm just going to show you how to do it for the Challenger, as that was the request I was given. You're going to first type hashtag, and then we're going to go Challenger, if I can spell. And then you're going to look for one you will like. This is actually one I use for my mid-tier British tanks. And here it is. This is the one I have, so we're just going to click on it. We're then going to click download. And when it's finished downloading, ignore all of this junk in my downloads folder, but here is the modern site. There's a readme here. You can read that if you want. And we're going to go to this. Now, this is all fun fun stuff that the guys put in here. This is actually a really well done thing. I really like this, so thank you to whoever did this. But we're going to go into MBT. Now, this is actually a pack by the look of it for all the tanks in the game. But we're just going to go... Uh, what would it be? Challenger Mark Three. it would be. CR1 Modern Site. Hold down Control and press C for copy, or you can right click and just hit copy. Now, the next thing we're going to do is... Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the War Thunder files. So if you have this game on Steam like I do, you just go into your Steam folder, common, War Thunder, and then there should be a folder that says user sites. If there isn't, you want to... I think you can probably make a folder, or alternatively, you can go to options, you have to be in a tank doing this, in a, a test drive or a game. Options, common battle settings, add a grid site. Okay? And that will create a user site in the game root folder. And that will create this folder. We're going to go in here, and you can see I've done loads of tanks before. You're going to find the one that you just made. So it'd be, for me it's Challenger 1 Mark III Golf. We're going to go in there, and you can see I've got all of these these other sites. This is the one it has a standard. That's a standard site. You can actually delete that, because that's what it makes when you, you add a new grid site. And we're just going to Control v Paste. And obviously, I already have it here, so I'll just... Here it is. Uh, I tell you what, actually. Let me rename this. Because just... Oh, dear. Just to show you what I mean. We'll do that, and we'll paste. Right. So, we now have this in here. We're going to go into War Thunder again. Uh, yes, right. So, War Thunder hasn't actually updated. Now, you can go back into the main menu and then respawn in a tank. However, that's time-consuming and kind of boring and not as fun. So, what you're going to want to do is hold down the left alt key and press F9 on your keyboard. And you'll see my site has now gone white. However, that's not... We don't really want that. I mean, yeah, it's, it's okay, and the other version is just red. But I have a theme on my channel. I don't know if you've, you may have noticed if you've been watching my videos for a while. We go green, because green is better. Now, how do you make your site go green? There's no, you won't, if you go in here, you will see there isn't any options to make it green. None whatsoever. Luckily, there is another way. We're going to go in, this is the one, this is the one I've just added. So let me open this, and we'll also open this one, just because this is what I've already done. Now, you'll see here, this guy has actually been really helpful, and he said change colour here. First three numbers are RGB, last number is opacity. 
higher than the breadth, breadth of the site. Now, these will all be out of 255. There's a scale, uh, because 8-bit binary, you know, the whole spiel. 0 to 255 are your options. And you have crosshair color. This is... Oh, oh dear. Crosshair color. And this is going to be your standard base one. Now, this is what it is as standard. It's just full 255, 255, 255. And the red one is 255, 60, 60. Now, the values correspond to red, green, and blue. And if you've ever done sort of Microsoft Word or other computer, uh, computer-based color selection, you'll know there's a wheel and it gives you color values, red, green, and blue. That's what this is. It's out of a maximum of 255 and zero. Now, the colors I used, uh, I think he might, does he give you, yeah, here you go. So he gives you some, some, uh, other optional colors. Now, I went with, uh, this one here, bright green. So what you want to do, these slashes, the reason there's two slashes is because that the computer doesn't read that part of the program. It's like in Python, if you put a hashtag, uh, that's what it does. It just ignores that bit. So that's how you put notes. So what you're going to do is you're just going to highlight this and copy or control C. Crosshair color, you're going to select all of that and control V to paste. That's not what you're going to do actually, no. Nope. You're going to take the the numbers, sorry. So what you're going to do is you take the numbers, control C, control V. You can also right click, copy and paste once you've highlighted them. And we will take, uh, we'll, we'll do our own for this one. So red, we'll say, uh, we'll say 60, 60, 60. So that's going to be gray, but I want to make it blue. So we'll just go 255 there for it to be a blue color. You're now going to want to save this, so you can obviously right click and save. I'm going to control S because I think you might have to click file actually. This is all Windows 11 by the way, I should point that out, your, your computer may look a bit, a bit different to this. So we've now saved our new values, there are other things you can do, you know, you can draw lines and all of that fun stuff, um, and then, you know, yeah. So we've done our colours, now we're going to want to go back into War Thunder and You'll notice, hang on, let me load up the old one. So this is the one we've changed. You'll notice it's still white, and that's because, as I said, War Thunder, d it doesn't refresh mid-game. It, it loads it at the start of the game. To make it refresh the site, we're going to hold down Alt and press F9, and there you go, beautiful green site. And I can turn on my lighting, and blue. There we go, look at that. I might have to use that more, actually, that's really nice. But yep, yeah, that is how to get custom sites in War Thunder. Um, if you want another tutorial on how to mess about with sites, like I did with my JBZ45, I don't think I've shown it on the channel, but I've done some messing about with that and removed things, changed things. If you do want another tutorial, put a uh, drop a comment and uh, I'll do one. But thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped, and uh, I'll see you next time.